Hi guys, it's Sammy Voodoo here. Uh, I'm doing a short workout. If you'd like to see the full extended version, check out the website. Um, so <laughs> I'm doing the big titty goth girlfriend uh, workout to show you basically how I've been trying to keep in shape and sane. Uh, during these times, you know, can't really go to the gym, can't do jujitsu, can't do any of those things. So, you know, just kind of working with what I have. All right, so first off, pulling my hair out because as much as I love playing with it, I can't play with it during the workouts. We're going to start with some basic stretches, get everything nice and warmed up. Touch the toes on one side. You're gonna wanna keep your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And you'll know when you feel a burn in your hamstrings that you've really got it. So we're gonna do that side and that side. All right, so we're gonna do those stretches. Get down on the ground and touch your toes if you can out to one side and reach and if you want to make this one a little bit deeper you can go across like that great And I like doing these stretches at home just because I don't necessarily need equipment. The stretches you can kind of do, you know, just using your own body weight and everything. And at least it helps kind of keep everything limber. So then we'll move into a butterfly. And you want to get your knees as close to the ground as possible. Keep everything tucked together and Back in the day, they used to tell us, try and touch your forehead to your toes, which I would recommend not trying to do if you're wearing shoes. <laughs> All right, this is one, um, it's a little awkward, but you kind of fold your leg up and you just kind of pull it close to you. Almost think about like if you're rocking a baby. <laughs> not quite the position, but it helps kind of loosen and get everything nice and warmed up in the hips. All right, so let's see. I guess we'll just start with um, some basic crunches. And we will do 10 forward facing and then 10 on each side to make sure that we get our main abdominal muscles and then the ones on the sides. So get everything nice and ready here. And when I do them, I like to do almost like half crunches to make sure that I really focus on this spot here. All right, so then what you're going to do is just put your legs off to the side and you're going to do basically the same movement. It's going to help isolate the abdominal muscles on the side there. And you're going to kind of try and think about bringing your elbow to your knees. This is also a great stretch for your spine as well. <sighs> All right. So if you want to do some further ab workouts, if you have um, an ab roller, these you can get pretty much at any big box store. You can also get them on Amazon if you uh, would prefer not to leave the house, kind of like me. Um, so you just 
get it here. I tend to hyperextend my arm, so I have to kind of remember to keep these bent a little bit. But you just get on your knees and you go out as far as you feel comfortable with. Hold and bring it back. I'll do five. Two. Three. Four. Five. And you'll really be able to feel it up here and even in your back and shoulders a little bit, depending on what you've been doing with those. All right, so we got our core nice and ready. We're gonna move on to some arm workouts and we're just gonna work on our biceps, just some basic curls. I like to keep my arms and elbows kind of tucked so that way I'm focusing on the bicep muscle and not like overextending myself. So you just bring it up, one, two, And then another one you can do is the triceps. And these are like uh, five pound weights. Um, you can do this without weights. You can do it with like a water bottle. You can do it with any size weight you want. Um, don't overextend yourself. But you just pick it up like this and you hold it behind your head and you straighten. And that gets your triceps. So one, two, All right, so when you're doing those, you do wanna make sure that you try and engage your core somewhat, so that way you're getting as much of a full body workout as you can. The next thing we'll do is we'll do 10 squats. Um, if you do wanna make the squats a little bit more difficult, you can always add a tension band. Again, you can get these pretty much anywhere. Walmart, Amazon, Target. If you have a local fitness store and you'd rather shop small, go with them. So you can do this without the tension band. It's probably a lot easier and preferable, but you just bring your feet out, about shoulder width, um, same as we did with the stretches before. You just come down one, two, three, Okay, so those are squats. Um, another workout that you can do there, if you are leery of doing squats, um, I know that it can be hard with some people's knees during the winter, there's another workout you can do. You get on your knees, you just kind of sit your bum between your feet and you come up and then you bring yourself down slowly controlled. And you'll really feel that burn here and here in your thighs. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, whew, eight, nine, ten. And you will feel it, especially if you just did squats. You will feel that. All right. Um, so those are some basics. And then I have a foam roller. Um, these are great for sore muscles along with workouts um, and stretching your back. So if you put it behind your head, it'll help with stretching your neck out, especially if you sit in front of a computer all day. You can put it between your shoulders to help stretch out here because I can tell you that I hunch in front of the computer all day with working from home. Um, so getting that all stretched out and open feels great. So another thing you can do is you can put it right kind of by your shoulders, get your feet tucked in and one, two, And 
and that is great for this muscle here behind your knees. Um, oh, I should learn the names of these muscle groups um, behind your knees, as well as for your glutes. So the last one that I'm going to do is um, a glute exercise. You just get on your hands and knees and these are called donkey kicks. Just do a kick out. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I caught myself hyperextending my arms. You want to make sure when you're on your hands and knees, do not hyperextend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's another one that's great for your bum. Um, so those are some workouts that you can do at home. Make sure you hydrate <laughs> um, day to day or if you do a workout. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you want the extended version, check out the website. I'm Sammy Voodoo. I hope you have a shiny day.